Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we have an exciting session lined up for you an Azure DevOps scenario based interview QA. In this video, we'll be exploring real world scenarios related to Azure DevOps and providing insightful answers to help you navigate common challenges. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and let's get started on this Azure DevOps journey together. Scenario You need to set up a CI CD pipeline for a .NET Core application. How would you approach this task in Azure DevOps? Answer To set up a CI CD pipeline for a .NET Core application in Azure DevOps, I would follow these steps. Create a new project in Azure DevOps if one doesn't exist. Create a new Git repository to store the application code. Set up a build pipeline by defining build tasks in YAML or using the classic editor specifying the build agent and build steps. I would configure it to build the .NET Core application. Configure triggers to initiate the build on code commits. Create a release pipeline, specifying the environments and stages required for deployment. Define release tasks for deploying the application to the target environments. Set up deployment triggers for automatic deployment upon successful builds. Scenario 2, your team is working on a project with multiple microservices. How would you manage and coordinate these microservices in Azure DevOps? Answer. To manage and coordinate multiple microservices in Azure DevOps, I would create a separate repository for each microservice to store the code. Use Azure DevOps boards to create work items for each microservice, track their progress, and manage the backlog. Set up a build pipeline for each microservice, ensuring that the CI CD process is specific to the service's requirements. Utilize release pipelines to deploy each microservice independently, coordinating the releases as needed. Implement policies, such as branch policies and pull request reviews, to maintain code quality and ensure consistency across microservices. Scenario 3 your organization wants to ensure security in the CI CD pipeline. How would you integrate security scanning tools into Azure DevOps? Answer. To integrate security scanning tools into Azure DevOps, I would add security scanning tasks, e.g., static code analysis, vulnerability scanning, to the build and release pipelines. Leverage Azure DevOps extensions or integrations with popular security tools, e.g., Sonar Cube, OWASP Zap, White Source, to automate security checks. Implement gating policies to prevent insecure code from being deployed into production. Use Azure DevOps service connections to securely access external security scanning services or databases. Monitor and review security scan results as part of the pipeline and address any issues promptly. Area 4. Your team wants to implement infrastructure as code, IAC for deploying resources in Azure. How would you set up IAC in Azure DevOps? Answer. To set up IAC in Azure DevOps, I would choose an IAC tool like Azure Resource Manager, ARM, Templates, Terraform, or Bicep. Store the IAC code in a version control system within Azure DevOps, ensuring it's in a separate repository. Create a build pipeline that compiles and validates the IAC code. Utilize release pipelines to deploy infrastructure, defining variables and parameters for different environments. Implement infrastructure validation gates to ensure the infrastructure is created correctly before deploying application code. Maintain versioning of IAC code and use automated tests for validation. Scenario 5. You need to implement a disaster recovery strategy for your Azure-based application. How would you approach this in Azure DevOps? Answer. To implement a disaster recovery strategy in Azure DevOps, I would create a separate Azure environment or subscription for the disaster recovery DR, resources. Set up a source control repository to store the DR configuration as code. Use Azure DevOps pipelines to automate the deployment of DR resources, ensuring consistency with the production environment. Implement scheduled or triggered backups and replication of critical data and resources to the DR environment. Define a runbook or scripts for initiating the failover process. Periodically test the DR plan and automate tests within the release pipeline to ensure readiness. Scenario 6. You're working on a project with a global team and you need to manage multiple branches for feature development. 
How would you organize and manage feature branches in Azure DevOps? Answer, to manage feature branches effectively in Azure DevOps for a global team, I would. Create a branch per feature strategy, where each feature or bug fix corresponds to a separate branch. Ensure feature branches are created from the main development branch and are regularly rebused to incorporate the latest changes. Implement branch policies to enforce code reviews and branch build validations. Use Azure DevOps boards to associate work items with feature branches, allowing for traceability and easier management. Leverage branch naming conventions to ensure clarity and consistency across the team. Scenario 7, your organization has a requirement for compliance and auditing in the CI slash CD pipeline. How would you address this in Azure DevOps? Answer, to address compliance and auditing requirements in Azure DevOps, I would. Enable auditing and monitoring features in Azure DevOps, such as Azure Monitor and Azure Log Analytics, to track activities and changes. Set up role-based access control, RBAC, to restrict access and permissions based on job roles and responsibilities. Implement security and compliance scanning tools to check for vulnerabilities and ensure adherence to compliance standards. Configure change management and approval processes using Azure DevOps approvals, ensuring compliance checks before deployments. Maintain detailed records of pipeline runs, releases, and deployments for audit purposes. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Scenario 8. You need to automate the scaling of resources in Azure based on application demand. How would you implement auto-scaling in Azure DevOps? Answer. To implement auto-scaling in Azure DevOps, I would. Utilize Azure Resource Manager, ARM, Templates or Infrastructure as Code, IAC, scripts to define the infrastructure. Define scaling rules and policies within Azure Monitor and Azure Auto Scale. Create parameterized variables for scaling thresholds in your release pipeline. Integrate Azure Monitor alerts and action groups with your pipelines to trigger scaling actions. Monitor application performance and scale resources dynamically based on custom metrics or predefined rules. Implement automated testing to ensure scalability and performance under various load conditions. Scenario 9. Your team needs to collaborate with external contractors or partners on a project. How would you securely manage access for external contributors in Azure DevOps? Answer. To securely manage access for external contributors in Azure DevOps, I would. Create guest accounts in Azure Active Directory, Azure AD for external collaborators. Assign appropriate permissions to these guest accounts at the Azure DevOps organization, project, and repository levels. Implement conditional access policies to control access based on factors like location or device. Leverage Azure DevOps access levels to restrict access to specific features or actions for external contributors. Regularly review and revoke access for external users when their involvement in the project is complete. Scenario 10, you've encountered a critical issue in your production application. How would you use Azure DevOps to quickly and effectively respond to and resolve the incident? Answer, to respond to a critical incident in a production application using Azure DevOps, I would. Create an incident work item in Azure DevOps boards to track and manage the incident. Use Azure DevOps service connections to connect to monitoring and diagnostic tools to gather real-time data and logs. Implement an incident response playbook, defining roles and responsibilities for the incident management team. Trigger an automated deployment rollback to a stable version, if necessary. Collaborate in real-time using Azure DevOps chats and boards to investigate and resolve the issue. Conduct a post-incident review to identify root causes and improve incident response processes for the future. Scenario 11. Your organization is transitioning to a microservices architecture. How would you ensure continuous integration and deployment for a growing number of microservices in Azure DevOps? Answer. To ensure continuous integration and deployment for a growing number of microservices in Azure DevOps, I would. Implement a microservices-specific CI slash CD strategy that allows each microservice to have its own build and release pipeline. Use Azure DevOps templates or YAML pipelines for consistency and scalability across microservices.
leverage service connections, and variable groups for managing common configurations and secrets across pipelines. Automate the creation of new pipelines for microservices by using infrastructure as code, IAC, and scripts. Monitor and optimize build and deployment performance as the number of microservices increases. Scenario 12. Your team is tasked with improving the development and deployment process. How would you implement DevOps best practices in Azure DevOps to enhance collaboration and automation? Answer. To implement DevOps best practices in Azure DevOps and enhance collaboration and automation, I would Promote a culture of collaboration and communication between development and operations teams. Implement version control, branching strategies, and code review processes to ensure code quality and traceability. Automate testing, including unit tests, integration tests, and performance tests within the CI slash CD pipeline. Use infrastructure as code IAC to automate resource provisioning and configuration. Set up monitoring and alerts to detect and respond to issues proactively. Continuously gather feedback from stakeholders to improve and refine the DevOps processes. Scenario 13, your organization requires high availability and failover capabilities for its applications. How would you design a resilient CI slash CD pipeline in Azure DevOps? Answer, to design a resilient CI slash CD pipeline in Azure DevOps for high availability and failover, I would. Utilize multiple Azure regions or availability zones to ensure redundancy and failover capability for resources. Implement automated failover scripts or runbooks in the release pipeline, triggered by predefined conditions or alerts. Use Azure Traffic Manager or Azure Front Door to distribute traffic across geographically distributed environments. Set up disaster recovery and backup solutions for pipeline configurations and deployment artifacts. Regularly test and validate the failover process to ensure it functions as expected. Scenario 14. Your organization wants to move from on-premises infrastructure to Azure Cloud. How would you plan and execute the migration using Azure DevOps? Answer. To plan and execute a migration from on-premises infrastructure to Azure Cloud using Azure DevOps, I would assess the current on-premises environment, identify dependencies, and plan the migration strategy. Use Azure DevOps boards to create migration work items and track progress. Migrate application code and data to Azure repositories and databases. Set up Azure Resource Manager, ARM, templates or IAC scripts to define the Azure infrastructure. Create a migration pipeline that automates the deployment of Azure resources. Implement monitoring and validation steps to ensure a successful migration. Scenario 15, your team needs to manage secrets and sensitive information in Azure DevOps securely. How would you handle secret management and access control? Answer, to manage secrets and sensitive information securely in Azure DevOps, I would Use Azure Key Vault or Azure DevOps service connections to store and manage secrets. Implement role-based access control, RBC, to restrict access to secrets based on job roles. Configure variable groups or pipeline-specific secrets for controlled access to secrets in the CI slash CD process. Implement pipeline-level permissions to limit who can view and modify secrets in the pipeline. Regularly rotate secrets and monitor access for security and compliance. Hey, if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a bite of Azure Brilliance.